Okay, lady, welcome back to my channel, May Between the Pages. My name is Taylor, and today we are either starting a new reading vlog or that wasn't necessary and I'm actually just filming like, like another clip for a previous vlog. I will figure this out post. So I'm officially back in Japan after a vacation in the States, a, a month vacation where we stayed with my family so they could hang out with Sumire and all that. And I haven't gone through all the footage that I took for like a vlog while I was there because, you know, even though we had a really long time there, we thought we would be able to relax more, like just chill out. But Hayato's whole family came for, you know, a while. His parents were there for like 10 days. So it was just... It was busier than we thought, and so I think the, the clips that I took might be a little chaotic. Uh, so I'm not really sure <laughs> if they're gonna be made into a vlog in the end or not. Um, if so, this might be a clip added to that. If not, we might be starting a new vlog right now. Yay! <laughs> I don't usually clap like that, and I kinda hate myself for doing that just now. <laughs> but having a baby, you know things find their way into your into your repertoire, your daily vocabulary that you wouldn't expect. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we'll see what this ends up being, whether it's a continuation or a new vlog. But I wanted to start tonight because, yeah, mm -hmm. I wanted to start tonight because there is a Hanabi Taikai, which is a, um, like a fireworks festival tonight near the house. And it's going to be loud, but it's usually very beautiful every year and it got canceled for several years due to covid and it's finally back so i don't know how she's gonna do with it because it is quite loud so we'll see but we can see it from our balcony where i live which we're very grateful for so i'm gonna try to get you guys some footage of that um if she doesn't lose her mind <laughs> once they start going off you should be much more tired than you are little lady we took a long walk and that usually does the, the trick um i gotta get her ready for bed soon but I took a walk, I need an excuse to take a walk, so I got myself a little coffee. So I'll tell you guys about my reading updates while I open this. Um, I don't think I actually included any reading updates in the vlog that I took, so the vlog that I took in the States. Um, so just a recap of kind of where I am now, and then I think I'll film a recent reads video talking about all the books that I, I read in the States, but I'll just start from where I am now, I think. I am currently reading, <clears throat> hold on, let me just go get the book real quick. I am currently in the middle of two books, the first one being Broken Stars. Um, this is a anthology of translated Chinese science fiction that was curated and translated by Ken Liu, uh, which we all know I love Ken Liu, like I, I'm a simple woman, I see his name, I buy. Um, but the other reason that I am reading this uh, is because I am a co-host for my friend Tammy from Tammy Tries to Read, I'll have her channel linked down below. She has a um, translated Chinese lit book club where we read translated Chinese literature <laughs> and uh, she has co-hosts and I'm her co-host for August and this is the book that we picked. Um, the live is next week on the 19th I believe, 19th at 8 p.m. EST. Um, so I have work to do <laughs> before then, I'm about halfway through. Uh, this has been an experience so far. I don't know what to expect when I start any story because they're all so vastly different from each other. Yeah, I know. The reason that I ended up putting this down was I read one of the middle, like longer stories. Um, there's two like chonkers in the middle. You can see, maybe, can you see? Yeah, so I read this long one and then this one's coming up. But this long one was, let me just look at the name. Let me not just like say this one that one let me I'm like I have it here <laughs> um uh what has passed shall in kinder light appear I actually love that quote and it's from a poem actually that they talk about in the story um and I love the poem as well so I think I might have found a, a new poet that I'm interested in but besides that that story just to me like depressed me <laughs> in the end and I just needed a break from like heavier reads so I put this down and ended up reading a bunch of shorter books while I was in the states the titular story in this book though broken stars I I'm still recovering from that story I I just, I don't know how to feel about it it was fucking wild <laughs> that story where we started and where we ended up I don't really want to spoil because 
you know, I, I want someone to be able to enjoy that story. Enjoy is the wrong word. I want some, someone to be able to be as surprised as I am. Let's put it that way, <laughs> if you do pick this up. But I really want to talk about it. So maybe I'll just do a spoilery section. Maybe when I finish this anthology and I sit down about like my, all of my thoughts. Uh, maybe I'll just do a, a little spoilery section and tell you guys to skip if you don't want to hear. But that story was fucking wild. It was bonkers. I, I still can't. I'm working on my feelings for it, really. So I'm going to finish this one. And then on my Kindle, I am reading Legacy of Brick and Bone by Crystal Matar still. But I am actually making progress in it now. <laughs> so uh, I look forward to finishing that. Oh, I'm also in the middle of The Frugal Wizard's Guide to Medieval England. I think that's the whole title. You want your Totoro? She has this little Totoro plushie that she loves, <laughs> so I should keep her entertained for a moment while I finish this. Uh, so I am in the middle of the Frugal Wizard's Guide. Um, but I wasn't able to finish it before I came back here, which is a shame because that book is so premium. It's such an enjoyable experience to read from it, but I do have the ebook version as well. So I do plan to finish that one actually. And I think that one's going to be really quick. Um, I read the first half of the book in like a day, um, and I was enjoying myself. So those are the three that I think I'm in the middle of right now. If I remember anything else, I will come back in and check in. Okay, so what I've decided to do with this vlog is I went through the footage from America and there are some good clips of like book shopping and things like that that I thought you guys might like to see. Also, um, harvesting figs, like we have a fig in our front yard. We have a fig. We have a fig tree in our front yard and there was a really bountiful harvest this year. So I've got some kind of cool clips of that sort, but not enough to like make a full vlog. So I thought I would just insert those as part of this vlog and then bookend it right with like the current times right so i think what i'll do is i'll insert the clips after this one and you guys can check out you know what i did in the states some of the highlights of that and then we'll come back and i'll finish out with what i'm currently reading and kind of get you guys up to speed so as I mentioned, there's a couple bookstore vlogs, one from Kramer's in Washington, D.C., and another from my local Barnes & Noble. I also have a couple clips of my backyard. Uh, we're very lucky that we're backed up to a forest, the houses, uh, so, you know, the backyard is very expansive. So I got a couple nice, like, cozy views of that that I thought that I would share. Um, and like I said, also harvesting figs. <laughs> we, there were so many figs, like, we had no idea what to do with them. Um, unfortunately, I lost my taste from COVID uh, near the end there, so I couldn't really help <laughs> enjoy eating them. Um, my taste is back now, by the way, thank goodness, but um, that was like a really not fun week and a half when I couldn't taste anything, um, especially as a foodie. So anyway, so you can watch us do that as well. I did film a couple clips of me talking about my reading, but they weren't really coherent and really got thrown off track once I got the Rona. So I think, like I said previously, I think I'd said that in the intro, that I was going to do a sit down recent reads video. And I think that's probably the best bet rather than trying to piece together my thoughts at the time. Uh, so you, you won't see a lot of reading or any reading really <laughs> in the US clips. But like I said, I'll finish out this vlog by talking about that reading. So don't you worry. Also, as someone who has never been a morning person, like not ever, not once in my entire life, uh, having a kid <laughs> is a lot because I'm now starting my days between 5 and 6 a.m. and Sumire gets up and now it's, what time is it? It's 5.30 and I am crashing hard. I just got her down for a nap, but this is my eternal conundrum because when she goes down for her nap in the, usually it's earlier in the afternoon, but it's kind of late today, but like, should I nap now? Because if I do, it's gonna be one of those heavy naps where I wake up and don't know what day or time or like year it is, and then I won't be able to sleep tonight. Or should I just try to push through? I just, she's in her four month sleep regression now, and it's just, it's tough, it's really tough. So if you have any 
advice in the comments down below when your kid's going through a sleep regression any tips or tricks or how to make through make it through um i could use that because these dark circles are permanent at this point actually i realized i wanted to do one more thing before i turned off this clip i received a broken binding book in the mail i had filmed another unboxing before we left for the states but it's it's not worth really putting in um, but I did get uh, a recent box and as well as an art print so I'm pretty sure that this is the third book in the second Joe Abercrombie uh, trilogy I think it's Age of Madness um, correct me in the comments down below uh, I think this is the third one that they had troubles with at the printer so it's finally arrived but here is the art print that arrived separately and it is beautiful it's just blood and gore and gorgeousness. So I have to find a place to display or keep this. Uh, and then let's open the actual box itself. Yes, it is the Great Leveler collection. So not Age of Madness. <laughs> I think that's the next set that he does. Uh, but the Great Leveler collection, we have Red Country. This is from the March box here. Uh, the trouble with running is wherever you run to, there you are. That's a very commonly used phrase, but it really rings true. Wherever you go, there you are. So here is the beautiful packaging. Always like a little present. So let's open this. I did receive, like I said, the second book. I did an unboxing for that and it is gorgeous. The texture of the, the cover is beautiful. Um, and the edges line up perfectly, which I think is the issue they had at the printer that the, the digitally sprayed edges weren't lining up. So, woo, it has the nice texture as to be expected. Woo, red country. It has a like parchment feel to it. Wrap around here is the spine and the back and then the edges just gorgeous you couldn't tell those were pages it's just it's beautiful the quality of this uh, and then we have the end pages the map and then let's look at the naked hardcover here looks like a, a pile yep a bag of money on the ground i love this filigree that is beautiful and then there's always a quote on the spine which says old milk turns sour but old scores just get sweeter interesting. So I'm excited to finally get to the second and third book in the first trilogy. So these are like, this book is so far <laughs> from being read by me right now, <laughs> but at least it's gorgeous uh, and it's going to look great on my shelves while I work my way there. Should I show all three with their edges? Let me, let me do that real quick. Let me get the others off of the shelf. Okay, so I don't think I unboxed any of these on camera. So here's the first one, Best Served Cold. This one came on time, and then the other two had to shoes at the printer. So Best Served Cold, and this is the hardcover for that. It does uh, also have the map as the end pages. Then the one that came um, just before was The Heroes. Let me turn it around. The edges. And... This is the cover for that one. And then what just came, Red Country. So let's put all three together and take a look at these gorgeous digitally sprayed edges together for the first time. Wow, that is just a work of art. Oh my God. You really can't tell those are the pages of a book. It's mind blowing. And it goes all the way across the top and the bottom. This is a gorgeous collection. Um, and they all have that kind of like parchment feel to them. So I'm gonna have to make room on my shelf again. I feel like I have to shift it all the time, which is a good problem to have, I guess. So, all right, I am exhausted. So I'm gonna at least go sit somewhere and not do anything, even if I don't nap. Um, and uh, you can expect to see the US clips starting just after this. <laughs> This is 
this by the same guy that wrote House of Leaves, which I've wanted to read for a long time. I've never heard of this. They're familiar. But it's definitely caught my attention because there's like five volumes and each one is so heavy. It's like a... Talk about a brick. I thought, you know, fantasy was massive. This is strange. Has anybody heard of this? Is it worth it? Because it looks like it'd be an investment. But I'm intrigued. Hi. Hi guys. So I haven't really recorded a lot uh, since I've been here. Um, it's too fun, too fun with people. How dare it be that fun? <laughs> so I didn't really record, and then I got COVID, as you saw in my last check-in. But uh, we do have a fig tree that is just spewing figs at this point. <laughs> so dad made a bunch of jam <clears throat> yesterday and there's still tons more on the tree. So I thought you guys might like to see what a fig tree looks like. I picked off a lot of the ones here already. But here's one. And I can show it to the camera what it looks like. Ooh, I saw delicious. So we're gonna pick a bunch of these and then she's a little bit dirty <laughs> and make more jam. Is that what's happening? Making more jam. <laughs> and Fig Newtons. Oh really? Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Okay well. And did you know figs are not a fruit? They're the blossom of the tree. I did not know that. I thought they were so definitely you, fruit. No, as you can see from the inside it looks like the stamen of a flower. Oh. It's an inverted blossom. So you're oh. actually eating the flower Delicious of the tree. Flowers. Yeah, exactly. Well, somehow that's that's being cuter. <laughs> Delicious flowers. All right, well, enjoy the B-roll. That one was a bit too ripe, ripped it in half. Somewhere and I definitely see tons of bees on this one up here. Yeah. Ooh. I'm not gonna disturb that one. I've been harvesting them with the bees and they've never bothered me to sting me. I'm a misperception that they don't have a sting, I don't know. Or they get too much sugar in them to get angry. Whatever it is, I usually, we just go about our business together. They do their pig and I do mine. Hmm. There are so many young ones here, though. This is going to be a plentiful branch. None of them are ripe just yet, though. Over here, too. So my dad's put together this contraption. <laughs> you cut it with this little gap here. It's my first time trying it. If I can get the right angle. And this quick pop. Oh, go figure, it actually worked. What do you mean, like go figure? It's almost like you're an engineer or something. <laughs> Maybe 
<laughs> it's designed to work if you were surprised it worked. Any failures, operator error? I see. Can't possibly get anything else, right? Oh. You get it? <laughs> I ripped it in half. Oh, well, that happens too, but that's okay. There's plenty you can get those for the uh, wasp and have the rest of that. It's a very nice butterfly. Yeah, I saw that. Success? I think that was a pretty good scoop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty satisfying, I'm not gonna lie. Quite a bountiful harvest, I'd say. How long do you think that's going to take to use? <laughs> uh, I can make probably four 16 ounce jam jars out of it. You said you might dry it too, right? Yeah, I'm going to do that a couple of them so that uh, you know, they last about three months dried. So you can only have so much jam. Well, I might want to steal a couple of those dried figs to bring them back. All right. Sneak them in the suitcase. So it's our last day here and we're doing like the last minute shopping of all the things that we still need to get and of course we went to Starbucks and I got the um, pumpkin spice uh, foam cold brew and this is like my fourth time getting this while I'm here and I have no regrets. I'm going to be so sad when we go back to Japan because I don't have this. Their fall flavor is um, sweet potato which is very good but it just can't hold a candle to, get to pumpkin spice. Oh, that cold brew sound. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm so happy. <laughs> Okay, hello everyone. We are back in Japan. So I hope you enjoyed those clips of us being in the States. We had a really amazing time. Besides me catching the Rona at the end, uh, we ended up having to delay, like I, I think I said this in my, um, in my book haul that I did that I've already posted. I'll have that link down below, the book haul I did in the States. But um, we did have to delay our flight because of me getting sick. So that sucked. But we are now officially back. And um, as I mentioned, I think, see these clips of me talking are gonna be all out of order because of the way that this vlog is structured, me inserting the other clips in. Um, but I mentioned that I was reading Broken Stars and um, uh, The Wizards, Frugal Wizard's Guide to Medieval England and Brick and Bone. Those were the three that I was reading when I put the clip at the beginning of this vlog. And so I just wanted to check in and say that um, I finished Broken Stars now. I actually finished about 85 to 90 percent of this before the live on Tammy's channel, but I didn't finish the last couple stories. Sorry, Tammy. Uh, she was so understanding about that though. Um, but I did want to actually finish the collection because I think as I mentioned earlier, every story was so extremely different from the other ones that I was just extremely intrigued to know what the rest of the stories um, had in store for me and I'm happy to say that I liked the last couple more than I liked the middle chunk so this book was sitting at like a three star for me but now after finishing it I think I'm gonna give it a four. Tammy had said two of the stories in the end that she thought I would like would be The Brain Box and Reflection and she was absolutely right I love both of those they really play with this it this idea of like time and memory and it was just those were a joy to read I I would give both of those five stars um let's see what are some other standouts from this collection I also really liked The Robot Who Likes to Tell Tales which is one in the middle of this um, and also Broken Stars, the story that I said really impacted me and I was still working my way through, which is very much the case. <laughs> With all anthologies, there are going to be some stories that are stronger than others. Like for me, the snow, what is it called? The snow uh, over Jin, Jin Yang? Uh, the snow of Jin Yang. Yeah, that one is a really popular story, but it just, it didn't work for me. And actually Tammy and I talked that through in her live, so I'll have that link down below. So if you wanna hear some of my in-depth thoughts about each of these stories before I do my wrap up, you can go check out that live. As for my overall thoughts, I do think I'm gonna sit with the stories a little bit longer, marinate on them a bit, and then talk about them in a more sit down, um, 
you know, like wrap up recent reads type of video. But overall, I would give the collection four stars and I would recommend it. Which means that I'm now moving on to finish the Frugal Wizards Guide. Uh, so I think that's going to be a really easy one for me to blow through. I'm really enjoying it. Ironically, there was another one in this story that really reminded me of Frugal Wizards Guide with this like kind of tongue in cheek <laughs> time travel thing going on. So I don't know. I'm kind of in. I've kind of enjoying those stories actually. Didn't really think that was a genre that I was into because I'm not into the anime version of that, which is isekai. It's just not really my thing. But it kind of worked in here for me, and it's working with the Frugal Wizard's Guide as well. So I'm looking forward to this more like lighthearted read, and then I'm on to Brick and Boat. I also would just like to show that we have some little late blooming little roses here, and they bring me so much joy. I love when they pop up unexpectedly. This plant does that a lot. Lots of little mini blooms throughout the year. So, they're so cute. We've also got some basil here that I've been using for like a caprese salad thing that I've been obsessed with recently. Um, very fresh tasting. Actually, I think I'll make that today for myself. This is a hibiscus, but only one flower blooms at once and then it falls off and it blooms for like a day. So we've got a couple of them lined up here. Looks like this one might be the next one to open up, so. Or did that one already fall off? That one might have already fallen off. I'm not sure which one will be next. We'll find out. Here's that fresh salad I was talking about. So it's basil, uh, cherry tomatoes, cucumbers and mozzarella with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper super simple super easy and I'm in love with it I have been eating it a lot recently and um, I made quite a lot of it so I'll probably be munching at it throughout the day hi what are we doing I'm drinking beer <laughs> we're having a date night out so I mean, his grandparents are watching her so we are getting yakiniku we just ordered our course. It hasn't come yet, but we've been here many times before. We really like it here. So. <laughs> the first order has arrived. Negitang. So, is it cow tongue? Yeah, I think. Cow tongue. cow tongue, yeah. With a whole bunch of spring onions on top. I love cow tongue. It's delicious. Don't knock it till you try it. It has to be cut thin, though. If it's not cut thin, it's not good. <laughs> I no, think. I know how to make. Really? Yeah, if it's like a low temperature, long time, it's mm. gonna be so soft. Mm. That's good. So, but not for grilling, right? It should be thin if you're grilling. Right? Yeah. We got kimchi, our salad, and what did you say this was? I wasn't really paying attention that much. Mm. <laughs> So chicken and different cuts of pork. Pork, yeah. Daddy. Daddy pork. Pork, pork, berry. Yep. And then we'll get the beef after. We've now got our beef. So karabi and dosu. And then jimim, which is a Korean pancake. It's very yummy. So we had a checkup for Sumire today and we decided to treat ourselves. So we went to a like level up version of conveyor belt sushi. So you can get some things to order and some things via said conveyor belt. <laughs> and then this was, I didn't hear clearly, she spoke a little fast. Miso soup. Miso soup. So miso soup. In here. It is more expensive than where we usually go, so Five let's hope it's expensive. good. Let's hope it's good. So we ordered a set to share to start today's recommended set. We got some fried okra, and this is unagi, I think. But it looks delicious. Anago? Unagi? It's either river or sea eel. I'm not sure which one. But this does look delicious, and the cuts look very clean. So I wanted to show from this angle because look at the gradient on this chuntoro. That looks delicious. 
That's one of my favorite cuts of sushi. I can have that one, right? True love. It's good. Yeah? So we're going to Starbucks. <laughs> and I wanted to show you guys, you know, in the States, pumpkin spice is all the rage. And I actually just saw that they did have a sign for it over there, which is brand new. Never seen that before. Um, but their main thing here is sweet potato. So they call it satsumaimo. So osatsu butter is this flavor, is like their fall flavor, not pumpkins. So I don't know if I'm going to get this or the tried and true pumpkin spice there. It might win out. We'll see. So in the end, I gave in to my Americanness and got a pumpkin spice. Had to get a matcha frappuccino. And we're just hanging out in the Tsutaya bookstore slash uh, Starbucks. Hey guys, so this is going to be the last check-in for this vlog. Where I am reading-wise is I am still in the middle of the Frugal Wizard's Handbook for Surviving Medieval England. One day I'll be able to say that <laughs> without needing to read it, but it is not this day. I think I'm about 70% of the way through this. Uh, every time I'm able to sit down and pick it up, I tend to blow through this and I'm enjoying it way more than I thought I would actually which is a very pleasant surprise. In the beginning, I was like, oh, this is cute. This is gonna be a lot of fun. But by the end, I find that I'm, I'm quite invested <laughs> in what happens. So I'm thoroughly enjoying my time with this. Whether I'll be able to finish it tonight or not is questionable because I have to choose between either this or actually filming a sit down video. Um, when I say that Hayato is back to work, I mean like Japanese level work. Um, so I don't think people in the West realize just how insane the Japanese working schedule is, especially for chefs, but he is gone from like 9 a.m. to midnight or 1 a.m. Uh, when he works a full shift or full day. So when I say he's working, I mean he's working, <laughs> which means that, you know, Sumire is, you know, if she wakes up, uh, it's on me. So if she sleeps well for me, I may be able to record a video and read this but I'll probably have to pick one <laughs> um, because she hasn't been sleeping that well lately so we'll see I do plan to talk about Japanese work culture on my Japan channel though because it is bonkers I feel like while I was in the US I was able to start prioritizing reading again the way that I used to uh, not only that but I'm starting to prioritize other things that bring me joy outside of motherhood which brings me intense joy but I am more than that <laughs> and I think I'm finally able to prioritize those things or find a balance for those things a little bit more and more um, every day. I'm back in the gym, I'm back to lifting weights, I'm back to moving my body every day. Uh, so hopefully those things will continue and uh, reading being one of those and that might lead to finally some more regular content for you guys, both here and on my Japan channel. But in the meantime, let me know in the comments down below, what are you reading? Because I've realized that in the past couple months, I haven't really been involved in the book community like I usually am, and I miss it. I miss talking to people who are passionate about books and, and who, who enjoy talking about reading. So let me know what you're reading, something that you loved, something that you hated. I would love to hear either sides of the spectrum in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell. I'd love to have you as part of this community, and I appreciate it. But for now, I'm going to head out. Jane.